This morning in Sydney, Jacques on furlough was laid to rest in a small private ceremony. According to news.com.au, the Australian MasterChef judge, who was discovered dead in a Melbourne hotel on April 30, was farewelled by a small group of family and close friends the day before the new season of the show was scheduled to air. It has been reported that invites to the intimate wedding were extended by Lauren Fry, wife of the award-winning chef and mother to two of Zonfrillo's four children. The Scottish-Italian famous chef, who had been fighting colon cancer in secret, is reported to have died of natural causes, and there was no wake held, according to the news outlet. The Daily Telegraph reports that TV chefs Nigella Lawson, George Calambaris, Colin Fastnage, and Gary Madigan attended the funeral, where Zonfrillo's coffin was draped with the royal banner of Scotland. His four kids reportedly showed there to say goodbye, and MasterChef judges Andy Allen and Melissa Leong were probably present too. Celebrity chefs, the entertainment business, and Zon Frillo's family all expressed their sorrow at his untimely demise. The first interview with a person who knew the chef well was given by MasterChef co-host Andy Allen Allen, visibly shaken up, admitted on the Australian talk show the project that he felt guilty about the long lunch he and Zon Frillo shared the day before Zon Frillo's death. For the past three hours, we have been talking non-stop. What a, everything was routine. His mood was just so upbeat and positive, he remarked. He couldn't contain his enthusiasm for the premiere, but Alan lamented that he wanted Zon Frillo's family could have been there to celebrate the final moments of life with their father and husband, since they were in Italy at the time of his death after just moving to Rome. Just knowing it wasn't them makes me feel guilty. If only they were the ones enjoying lunch with Jock right now. I'd do everything to switch places with you, he said. Zon Frillo's wife, he continued, is the strongest woman I have ever known. She has lost her closest companion. When you think about it, things like never being able to lead Jock's three children down the aisle, they are the most painful aspects of her situation. After Zon Frillo passed away, his wife boldly made the decision to move forward with the next season of MasterChef, although one week later than originally scheduled. And poignant performance by fellow Scotsman Jimmy Barnes, which had spectators in tears, preceded an homage to the award-winning chef. Barnes posted the video to Facebook, where he can be seen sobbing while singing the Bonnie Banks O Lox Lumond to his friend and fellow Scotsman. The announcement of Zon Frillo's unexpected death was followed by a heartfelt homage from his family. With broken hearts and no idea how to go on without him, we are devastated to relay the news that Jock passed away yesterday. There are so many things we could say about him, so many stories we could tell, but right now we're just too overwhelmed to do either. Remember this proud Scott with your next glass of whiskey in honor of everyone who crossed his path, became his companion, or was blessed enough to be his family. Leong, another judge on MasterChef, posted a touching tribute to Zon Furlow on social media after she had to cancel a promotional trip to New Zealand in the wake of her death. Four years ago, the three of us were at the edge of a cliff, and we took a giant leap of faith. I had no idea that your arrival would change my life in such a profound way, or that we would have to say goodbye to you so soon. You were always going to be the one who was invincible and lived longer than the rest of us, she remarked. During that time, you showed me what true perfection looks like both in and out of the kitchen. Your kindness and generosity, the many lives you've lived, the way you carried far more on your shoulders than most people ever know. Workmate and friend, provider of wonderful morning coffees, hater of pears, okra, and nasturtiums. Thank you for challenging me daily for making me better. I don't think I'll be able to really digest all of this for quite some time. That's the result of living on the edge, laughing a lot, and making your own rules the whole time. I'm sorry for all that's happened to you and your loved ones. Thanks for watching.